In this video, I want to talk about dynamic data masking in Microsoft Fabric. I want to tell you what it is, how it works, and what some of the limitations are. And of course, I will demo the data masking so you can see it in action and know how you could do it yourself. As always, I'm creating these videos together with Reitzer. He writes these really great blogs about these topics, so make sure to have a look at his articles. You can find the link in the description. So what is data masking? Data masking is a technique to hide sensitive data by putting a mask over it. And the actual data in the database, it stays the same. It's just the results that show a masked version. So this means everything's the same, but people who don't have the right permissions only see the masked data. Very, very important to understand. Data masking is not the same as anonymization of data. It does not secure your data from unauthorized access. It simply prevents sensitive data from being viewed. Think of it as putting a cover over your data instead of locking it away. So who will see this masked data? Well, essentially people with fewer rights. So administrators, members and contributors, they can see the data, but if you're fewer or you don't have the elevated rights, you will only see the masked data. So let's have a look into that because that's a lot of theory. Let's have a look into how does that work? How can I mask my data and how does that look for the user? Let's go into Microsoft Fabric. Here I'm in my demo warehouse. I can show you this is my workspace and I have a demo warehouse in there. If I click on it, I see I have quite some tables here and now I could create a table that has dynamic masking in it. And I could do that by writing this query. What does this query do? I create a table, geography mask, and I have an ID there. I have the country, the city, and the zip code. But if we look at it row by row, we see that country I only want to show the first letter and the last two letters of the country and in between I want this sign. City, I just want to have this default masking function which is the cross. And zip code, I want it to show it like this with these crosses and then the last four numbers of the zip code. And that would be to create a table and then I also want directly to insert some data here so you actually can see what's going on. So let's do that. Let's run this query. So now the query has finished. Let's go to the table. So this is the table I just created. I have geography ID, I have country, city and zip code. And now you see this looks very normal, but that's because I'm an admin in this workspace, I'm going to show you how it looks like this table if you are the demo user. So this is the workspace of my demo user. They only have few rights. And if I now say a new query and I ask that information from our mask table, you will see these. So the ID, we did not do any masking there. Country, we had like the first letter and the last two letters. City, we had the standard, the default with the crosses. And zip code, we only want to see the last four numbers and everything else in front with these axes. And let's put these two on top of each other. This is not the prettiest view, but I want to show you. So at the top, you see this was our basic query uh, as an admin. This is the result I see, and this is what the user sees that only has the fewer rights. So they can't see these things because they are masked. And this masking, it also applies to, for example, Power BI. I can create a report. I'm the admin here, and I have my information here. Make a table. So you see, this is not the prettiest Power BI report, I get that, but this is the information we have in our warehouse. Now, if I save that and I open this as my other user, my demo user, who only has the few rights, let's go there, they only see this. So here you see the masking also applies to what that person sees there with the fewer rights. Remember, it's just masking. So we don't change anything about the data. We only cover part of it for some kind of user. Let me know. Do you have any questions about this? Have you tried this yourself? And what do you think are the advantages and disadvantages here? 